Hello and welcome back to another video on the Corolla XRS and today we've got a rear sway bar upgrade. Now I did do the same video almost four years ago on the Turbo Corolla. I installed this very same sway bar and I also installed the front sway bar in the same video. Today's video, we are only doing the rear sway bar of this car. I do have a front sway bar ready to go in for this car. However, installing the front sway bar is a lot more tricky than installing the rear one, and I want to do that in its own separate video. So today, we are only installing this one, which is going to be very easy. There's only two bolts that hold it in, and in theory, I could install this without taking the wheels off, but I'm gonna take the wheels off anyway because I wanna put my summer tires back on. So, that's the game plan, let's get to it. So the bolt that we're after is right there, and it's the same bolt on the other side as well. Now this really doesn't look too rusty, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some penetrating fluid anyway. Doesn't hurt, and I'll just let that soak in for a few minutes, and then we'll take that bolt out. Here we go. Got my trusty 19 millimeter, and we'll pull the bolt out from the bottom. Okay, maybe we can use some more penetrating fluid and just hope that works. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, it's always like this with car projects. The right side doesn't want to budge, but the left side is playing nice. Breaker bar on top to hold the top nut. And here we go. There we go. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Well, this is the bolt, so we're halfway done. Now we just need the right side to cooperate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to go back and forth a couple times. Oh, a lot of rust came out from this side. That's why I was so stubborn, but good news, we can take the sway bar out now. So there's really nothing special about taking the sway bar out once the bolts are out. We just grab it somewhere and should just pull out nicely. Come on, there we go. So a little comparison here between this stock crusty rusty sway bar with paint chipping off of it versus the new progress sway bar so side by side i mean this one has i guess a slightly more aggressive angle i don't think the more aggressive angle of the progress one really has too much to do with performance i'm guessing it's more of a space restriction thing i could be wrong this old sway bar here is probably about 18, 19 millimeters, and I think this progress one is 24. If I'm wrong about any of these numbers, I'm sure someone in the comments will let everyone know. And there's a size comparison from the top. You can see this one noticeably thicker than this one. So with that, let's put the new progress bar in. So this is how the sway bar goes into the car. This is the orientation of it. Kind of pokes out a little bit like that. And all we do is just line it up with the holes on each side, there we go. And then we use the old bolts to put it back in. There we go, the sway bar is now in and has been properly torqued to good enough. So now we can put the wheels back on, but not these wheels because it's been warming up. So we can put the summer tires back on. Way 
wait a second. Did I just put this thing in upside down? Okay, more work. Well, that was kind of funny. I forgot that you actually can install this upside down, so I've corrected it. That's what I get for not paying attention, but it's okay. I've just flipped it around and there you go. So when it was upside down, this here was almost touching the bottom of the axle beam, but now it's right side up, so it's more in the middle. So it should be installed like this. The top has kind of a short piece and the bottom has a longer piece, but there you go. If you're installing this, that is how it's supposed to go in. That's what it's supposed to look like when you're done. Well, there we have it. The rear progress sway bar has been installed and we've got the summer tires back on the XRS. Thank you everyone for your time today, joining me for another Corolla XRS video. I do appreciate it as always. The front sway bar video is coming in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.